Hello and welcome to Old Lady Plays. I'm Kate, the old lady, and this is the 1914 Project, episode 25 of this alternate history save on Football Manager 2021. So, that's getting long, it's getting hard to say. Um, but that's okay, it's not important. Let's get on with this. Um, we're gonna jump straight into the game here today. Uh, you can see the team is a little bit tired, and that is because we are having kind of an injury crisis. Uh, we've got, between injuries and suspension, we're missing five players right now, uh, which means that we go into today with a bench of just five players for this Champions League match, which is not ideal. Oh, sorry, not Champions League, Europa League match. Sorry. Granted, delusions of grandeur there. Um, so we're going to start with a few players who are a little bit tired in the match and there isn't much I can do about it because I don't have really subs for them on the bench. We're ravaged in the midfield. Juric, Franic, and Matko are all out. And that's a big chunk of our midfield. So it's left us pretty short. Uh, pretty much every center midfielder we've got is in the, is in the field right now. So yeah, let's go. Let's go, I know I've only selected five substitutes, my goodness. Let's go, let's go. Uh, don't let complacency undo all the good work done. First I go out there and treat this as if you're starting from scratch. Uh, hands on hips, no, I won't let me do that. Don't think this, no. Hands in pockets, I guess so. Oh, they like that one. Good stuff. All right. Uh, your team selection is offered little by way of surprise. Are you confident in a kickoff? Um, it's, uh, it's it's a big match. Um, it's it'll be decided. You know, we'll we'll see how we'll see how it goes. Uh, he will last as long as it's necessary to last because we don't have anybody behind him. Yep. Looks like we might be in our orange shirts today. We are. Which puts the mention dog back in their whites. So let's see how we go today. So far, they're off to a good start. I'm going to turn down the mentality. I didn't mean to have it on. Um, attacking. I want to have it on balance. We have a two goal lead from the first leg, or is it a one goal lead? I can't read it from here. I thought it was a two goal lead, might be a one goal lead. Um, but in any case, we have a lead from the first leg, and we didn't get any away goals. So, that's the two important parts. Try and get the ball forward and stay backward, boys. That's the way, that's the way. Ah. Uh, good try, keep it up. Sorry, not much going on. Stefuil, Tolic, Stefuil, back for Beard. B out wide for Devitak. Devitak in for Divkovic. You can't quite get the place oh, set up to shoot. Devitak gives it away. After it's blocked. But he has gotten back in position. And can he challenge? He does, but not quite effectively. And the ball ends up going up and over. Whew. And there's halftime. Not much happened other than that last burst of interest. Um, as you can see from the XG, that, that last little spell was pretty much the only thing that happened. 
that's okay. Let's see what we do. Um, still leading on aggregate. Make sure it's still the case when the um, when the full time whistle goes. There we go. Um, yeah. Hmm. The stereo. Oh, and he misses. Oh, he misses. I can't believe he missed that. That's the outside, almost certainly. It wasn't. Oh, my goodness. Come on, somebody help him out. No. Nobody wants to help him out. And good job. Debra Tack gets there first. P. For Horvat, who gets it back again. Out wide for Stefan. Playing on the right today. Usually on the left. And the left is his favorite foot, but needs Mas. Oh, Divkovic is in. Devitak finds him. Divkovic gets the goal. We are now definitely up 2 to 0, and we have no way goal, and they do not. So they now need to get three goals to beat us, and there is no extra time to be had. That goal may well have sealed our fate in terms of getting through to the next round. I'm kind of hopeful that it's true. Uh, Dev attack. I think I can replace Dev attack. Halo. Yes, Halo can play there. Uh, in fact, though. Better if I move Stefan back over. And who else? Just happy to say, he can come out. Wozak can go in. We'll swap those two around. And Peel. I have nobody to take Peel on. He just now plays a lot out. I know what I can do. I can bring on. Yeah. I'll bring him on for that and then swap those two. No ideal, but it's the best I've got. And we just need to win it. I don't need to have it be pretty. So let's see how we do. Ten more minutes to go. Looking very tired, only five minutes to play now. That's it, that's it. Okay, you got the Kovic. Can't find anybody in front. Horvat back, now found, and oh my goodness, what a finish by Hlozek. He's been kind of slow in scoring recently. Um, he started off really well with us and then he went quiet. But uh, that was quite a finish. Just slams it off the post and in. That pretty much does it. They need four goals to beat us. I don't see that happening. Not in uh, three minutes of injury time. Especially now that we have the ball. Hmm. Come on, guys. <laughs> this is just so boring. They're playing the, this is like the 18th pass between the two of them. There we go. 
and Flozak finishes again just to make it absolutely clear who's won this game. 4-0 on aggregate, 3-0 away. You cannot ask for more than this. Flozak tries to make the argument that he should have started the game. I make the argument that it's benching him that got him to be so fired up, so... You know, that cuts both ways. There we go. Nicely done. Okay. Uh, happy how far this went, how this went. On the first leg, I won the finish job here. There we go, there we go. There we go. Uh, are we pleased with our defensive performance today? Oh, they didn't have a shot on goal. Look at that. Very nice. At home, they didn't get a shot on goal. That is, that must be distressing for them. Oh, Manalo's out injured too now. That's terrific. 500k for playing in the knockout round. Viserio is jaded. Flozek is on form. Thank you very much. I'm criticizing him, so it's a good time to be able to say something good about him. Let's have a quick peek at how things have been going in the league and otherwise. Uh, where was the last time you saw us? Do 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 do. Sparta Bra. Right. We finished off Gazmitan Mediash uh, in the FA Cup third round with a 5 0 thrashing at our part. Uh, we went to Lutzki Vert to play Wolfsberger in uh, Maribor. And um, because their stadium isn't big enough, and we drew them 2 2. It was kind of an interesting game. Um, we had. What is it? I'm not looking at the right game. There we are. Um, they scored first and we came back. So it was, uh, it was a good comeback anyway. Um, we beat Ferenc Varos at home 2 1. Uh, we then faced. Uh, Erse Erbe Salzburg in the FA Cup fourth round. We beat them at their park 2 0 and then beat them. Uh, we haven't played them in the second leg yet. That's coming up. But uh, we drew with Victoria Pilsen, which was distressing because what had happened uh, is that that uh, tied them at the top of us, top of our league um, with us. We were two points ahead. We dropped that, those two points there. They won and we were drawn. But they since lost in this match, uh, the corresponding fixture in their schedule. Uh, they lost 2-1 to somebody and so we are actually back to three points up again. So there we are, three points up. It's tight, there's only four matches left so it's down to the two of us and it's, it's tight. It is very tight. Um, let's zoom down there. Right. Uh, any other games that I want to point out? 1 0 we beat Borussia at our place. Uh, 1 0 we beat Altak at their place. 3 0, as you just saw, we beat Borussia at their place. So, pretty good. We're going to play Salzburg in the fourth round with a 2-0 lead from the first leg and they had no away goals so um, sorry we had two away goals they haven't played away yet so that's okay we've got a good leg up on them so I'm hoping that we can get through in that one and uh, Osiak after that Amstetten that should be easy in the Austrian Trophy semi-final which means we should be going to the final again. Hooray. And we've got to figure out who we're going to get in the European uh, Europa League second knockout round. So lots of exciting stuff still to come in this uh, season. We will be back. I suspect that this game against Salzburg may be the decider this year. Uh, with three games to go. I think if we win that match they will not be able to catch us anymore. So that's the game I think we'll be coming back for at the end of next month. 
And then we'll probably come back for whatever finals or, or see how, you know, we progress in various cups and things uh, as to whether we come back or anything like that. So, that's going to do it for this episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching. Appreciate your time. I hope that you have a great day. And take care.